Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have a slight twist on our original problem, the original way of solving these types of rate problems, is when we're dealing with relative time. Notice that we have Mary and Kathy can clean the yard together in six hours, but it would take Mary three times as long to clean the yard by herself compared to Kathy. How long would it take each of them working alone? We can still use the same original equation. We can still say that the rate of the first person, in this case let's call it Mary, times the total time spent plus the rate of Kathy times the total amount of time spent equals the whole job done. So that's still correct. But now we need to find a relative rate for Mary versus Kathy. Notice that the time for Mary is going to be equal to, let's see, it would take Mary three times as long as Kathy, so the time of Mary is equal to three times the time of Kathy if they were worth to work the yard by themselves. Mary would take three times as long as Kathy to do the job. So if Mary takes three times as long, then her rate is one-third as high. Then we could say that the rate of Mary is equal to one-third the rate of Kathy, because after all, the rate is the inverse of the time spent. That being true, we can then plug that into the equation here. So we can say the rate of Mary, which is one-third the rate of Kathy. So we'll go one-third the rate of Kathy times the time spent plus the rate of Kathy times the time spent is equal to one. And then we realize that both of them can do the job in six hours, so we can plug in six for T. So one-third the rate of Kathy times six plus the rate of Kathy times 6 equals the whole job done, and all we have to do here now is solve for the rate of Kathy. So 1 third times 6 is 2, so we have 2 times the rate of Kathy plus the rate of Kathy times 6, which would be 6 times the rate of Kathy is equal to 1, or 8 times the rate of Kathy is equal to 1, or the rate of Kathy is equal to 1 eighth, and of course that would be 1 eighth of the job done per hour. That would be one eighth of the job done per hour. That's the definition of rate. And since Mary's rate is one third Kathy's rate, we can say the rate for Mary, which is one third the rate for Kathy, which is one third times one eighth. That means that the rate of Mary is equal to one twenty fourth the amount of job done or the job done, one twenty-fourth of the job done per hour, so there are the two rates. Of course, did they ask us for the rates? No, they asked us for how long it would take for the time of each. Of course, the time is equal to one over the rate, so in this case, the time of Mary is equal to one over the rate of Mary, which is equal to one over one twenty-fourth of the job done per hour, and of course, that's the whole job done by one, one twenty-fourth the job per hour, which is equal to 24 hours. So the amount of time that Mary would need for herself would be 24 hours. The time for Kathy would be one over the rate for Kathy, which is equal to one job done divided by the rate, which is one eighth of a job per hour, which would be equal to eight hours for Kathy to do it by herself. And then you realize that, yes, indeed, 24 is 3 times 8, so it seems to work okay. And together, they can do it in 6. And that is how it's done.